I've been in Salt Lake for four days now, doing a bit of resting, training, preparing for the competition, but now it's the evening on Thursday and I'm just preparing for the competition. Left Korea on the 1st and then I was leaving for Salt Lake on the 14th. And in that two weeks is basically resting, getting over the jet lag and the biggest thing was lead training. I was doing a lot of really hard power endurance sessions to keep my lead training topped up because I've got a couple more boulder comps but lead season is very quickly approaching. I had a really good session with Jake Mason at Hang in London. Basically we just stripped one of the slabs and recreated two of the two of the World Cup slabs from uh, Korea and Hachioji and just basically spent hours just trying all sorts of variations, different shoes, different beta and just working my slab game because what was a big thing to take away from the first two World Cups is that the slabs were the slabs were really hard, like really, really hard. So I put some good work in there and hoping to put it to use in Salt Lake. So since being in Salt Lake, I've had some really good climbing sessions. The USA uh, Training Center, the TC here, is absolutely incredible. It's where all the US team who are based in Salt Lake train and they couldn't have been more accommodating. They allowed everyone competing in the World Cup into their training center. Uh, they have an awesome spray wall there, uh, a great rotation of blocks. So every time you go in there, there's new stuff to try. Uh, there's constantly really psyched people with uh, good music, good vibes, and it's just a great place to hang out. And I've had two sessions there and they were both, um, both successful sessions, had some good time playing on some slabs, hard boulders, chilling out, coffee, all of that, all of that good stuff. I like to take two rest days, as a lot of people do before the, before the competition starts, and those are just about killing time. I find it really hard to sit and do nothing, so it's a bit of a balance between kind of resting and not doing too much. I've just gone and collected my accreditation from the coaches. Uh, this is basically just a lanyard which allows me to get into isolation. The team coach went and collected this from the USA Training Center confirmed my attendance, um, got me the badge, and yeah, picked it up today and it's quite nice, good quality. All right, so we've just arrived at the venue on the Friday afternoon and I'm just getting ready to head into ISO. It's, uh, it's about two o'clock now and I'll be climbing at about 4.30, so I like to take two, two to two and a half hours to warm up, so heading in now. It's a really cool venue, good warm up, and I'm psyched.
<laughs> so I've just finished my qualification round in Salt Lake. Um, I had a really good round. I managed to get all five tops. Uh, I flashed the first four and then had a really good fight on the slab. Um, yeah, it was a really horrible slab and I managed to get up it. So I think that leaves me second in my group for now. Could change later, but safely through the semis and yeah, I'm really, really psyched. So Boulder 5 was only had one top by the time I got out to it. I didn't know this at the time, but it was like a really hard slabby mantle, uh, something which previously I would have really struggled with. Yeah, just a really strange boulder and it was a big fight to get up it, but the, the crowd got behind me. I was really psyched and yeah, I managed to get it up on my third attempt, I think, which was the second top of the, um, the round. Semi-finals and finals on Sunday, so hopefully I can get through to finals. I'll be coming out nice and late in the semi-finals, so chilled out morning, get into ISO, have a bit of a wait, and then do some more climbing, so I'm really happy. I've just woken up, I've got a cup of tea, and what I'm currently doing is just going through some of my footage from yesterday. I like to go through all of the boulders and all of my climbs to see if there's anything I could have done better to, to like improve for next time. Doing a bit of admin really, a bit of social media, uploading some stuff. Um, I like to upload a lot of training videos and my climbing stuff to Instagram. So if you want to check that out, it's Toby underscore climbing. Yeah, feel free to do that. It's just something I like to, I like to throw a lot of stuff up, stuff up on there. Chill day today, not going to do too much, mainly just resting, going to go and get some breakfast or something, but otherwise trying not to use too much energy. Just on the way to isolation, uh, I've got about half an hour till I need to be in, so hopefully I can grab a coffee or something before I go in. When I go in, I've got a few hours because I'm climbing quite late, so I'm just gonna take a slow warm up, relax, yeah, drink more coffee, and yeah, psych myself up to pull hard. Um, or not, if there's a lot of slabs, but we'll see.
You're in. I've just had the semi-finals and I'm still pretty lost for words. I've just found, I've just made my first ever World Cup boulder final. I, I still can't, it's, it's still not really computing that I just made it. It was such a great round. I had such a good time and yeah, I'm so psyched for finals later. It feels absolutely incredible to be in the final. I'm going to be competing against some of some people who I've looked up to for so long and it's it's just a surreal experience really. It was an incredible, incredible round. I'm so happy. Topping out Boulder 4, uh, hearing the team, hearing my dad, everyone just so psyched. That was the moment which I knew, wow, I just made my first ever Boulder World Cup final.
been an incredible week in Salt Lake. I couldn't have asked for anything better. It's been the, from the training to, to the athletes, to the team, everyone was just so supportive. It was a great experience, first time in Salt Lake. Coming out after my round, it was a really s surreal and a strange experience. There were queues and queues of people wanting autographs and photos. It's something that's, something that's never happened to me before and, and to be in that moment was just amazing. Yeah, I'm going to treasure a lot of the photos from the podium. It's not often you get to stand, stand on the podium with Tomoe Tomo Narasaki. And I just can't wait to get going again. I'm going to have one more session at the TC today, a bit of lead training, it's resting, and then straight to Innsbruck for some more lead training. And then uh, off to Prague for the next Boulder World Cup, which I'm so psyched for. Big thanks to the GB, the GB team, the coaches and the team. It, it, they were. They were so, so supportive. Hearing them on the mats, I could just hear them cheering me up the boulders. It makes such a big difference. Such a nice atmosphere, and it wouldn't be the same without that team environment. So yeah, it was, it's really great to go on these trips with such great people.